uh, chairman of Bright Station Ventures. Welcome to Arts and Labs Innovation Central. Thank you. Dan, you're a veteran entrepreneur in the digital space. Uh, you founded many companies, now you're doing power and empower in the UK, which is taking on some of the leading US-based companies like Square. Dan, how important is intellectual property in innovation for you, from your point of view, both as an entrepreneur and as an investor? I think it varies on the type of product or service that you're offering. Uh, given that I'm a, a technology uh, entrepreneur predominantly and in the service business primarily, um, it can be that the first mover advantage is your intellectual property, being in the space first and being a, able to capture uh, a user base is more important sometimes than uh, protecting the idea. But when it comes to physical um, uh, capabilities, uh, you know, a physical product, uh, engineering, then intellectual property becomes extremely important because you want to protect your design uh, and to do that patents are you know, the most effective way to do it. How effective is the law at the moment do you think in terms of protecting uh, your, your patents both in the US and in the UK? Well I think it is, it is effective but it requires a lot of resources to defend it uh, and so if you, are, if, if you have a patent on something and it has been breached, um, you have to be prepared to fight a long uh, battle to prove your case uh, against somebody who is taking advantage of your intellectual property, um, but the rewards are there if you're able to prove that you own that concept. Dan, what, 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 what would be your response to some people who argue that we need more openness when it comes to intellectual copyright and, and patents? that there needs to be more sharing. Uh, I would disagree with that. I think that um, the, the infrastructure around intellectual property serves extremely well for those people who create value. And we're not just talking about the areas that I'm familiar with, but when you think about written works and recorded music and things like that, that's where it becomes you know, much more immediate in terms of, of, of protection of rights. In the UK, are there a lot of people who, who, who want to do away with those rights? Not that I've heard of. But they shouldn't. We need to maintain those rights. Absolutely. And I think that what's been happening with the international uh, movement to protect uh, intellectual property in, in Asian markets, where typically that sort of structure of protection hasn't been in place, uh, has now started to be adopted in those markets and is becoming much more rigid. And that gives great confidence to uh, 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 manufacturers who want to use uh, Asian factories to help build innovative products, like we're doing with Empower. Dan Wagner, the, uh, the chairman of Brightside Ventures and the CEO behind both Power and Empower, thank you so much for appearing on Arts and Labs Innovation Central. Thank you.